what is going on everybody uh we're here just out for a nice sunday cruise rocking the sv650 um we did uh we did put an exhaust on it so we have uh hopefully sounds a little bit better i don't know how well my mic's gonna pick it up on the camera but um trying to cruise uh, along the river here and keep getting screwed with traffic so can't do too much about that is what it is unfortunately but uh, just trying to have a nice Sunday ride so hopefully we can get a little uh, distance from these cars And nope, does not look like that's going to happen. So. So yeah, hopefully the bike sounds a little bit better. Um, I do have, uh, I did get this uh, Givy GV, how, however you want to say it, windshield for it. It is the A3... 111 the three triple one with you know what we might go down that road I, I have no idea where it goes yeah sure sure we'll take it right we'll go down that road so I got the windshield I got the exhaust um, and that's that's about it as far as mods go on this I mean I threw a set of spools on there but pretty much every bike is gonna have a set of spools so I don't count that as a mod. But so that's what's done to the bike. Other than that, it it is stock. I have noticed uh, again this is a 2022. I have 2031 miles on it. One thing I do know for sure is that my speedometer is off. It does read faster than what I'm actually doing. I found that out. I, I did a little bit of a road trip with it. It was 700 miles. And, and when you're cruising down the highway with cars and you're going, when you're looking at your speedo and you're going five over the posted, but you're being passed by everybody still, it seems, it, it, it's pretty obvious that you're not going the speed limit. I mean, for the most part, there are a lot of people that do go above and beyond the speed limit not very many people do it so after a while I did note that yes it is off um, I've checked around on a couple of forums with some other people that have SVs and it, it, it's a thing Manufacturers are allowed to be off by 10%, higher or lower. Usually they go with higher, so you don't think you're, or you think you're going faster than you are. I guess I don't know exactly what it is, but that's what it is. So, so pay no attention to my speed because it's wrong. I know that for sure. So we're just out here trying to. You know, having a nice Sunday cruise, figured I'd talk about the bike a little bit, what I have done to it uh, in 2,000 miles. What I like, what I don't like. What I don't like right off the bat is the seat. Seat's great, you know, one, two, three hours. At least for me, anyways. I, I've got no complaints about the seat. The seat's actually pretty fantastic. It, it, it's comfy. Doing a six hour ride down the highway, not so good. I would definitely recommend upgrading. Uh, I'm thinking about possibly a Corbin, maybe like one of the, the tuck and roll seats. There was another one that I can't think of the name offhand that a lot of people seem to, to really like for these bikes. So that's another possibility that I might do. Other than that, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't like the Speedo, obviously. 
I don't like the fact that it's off. I'd rather have it be accurate than not. It is what it is. There is a... It, 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 it's like a box you can buy. Uh, it's called uh, a Speedo Healer. Uh, the company that makes that is Heal Tech. A lot of people swear by them. It, it, it's kind of, from what I've seen and what I've read, it's like a plug and play. So there, there's that, that that I can do about it. But then you have to mess around trying to calibrate the box, get it so it's accurate. And with that being the case, I'm kind of like, yeah, forget it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to spend, I, I want to say it's 150, 200 bucks. I'm not going to spend that. I'm just going to deal with it at this point. It's a brand new bike. You know, I've had it since May. So I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to run it. I, I, I know it's off. I know what it's off by. Although it still is kind of weird and, and very disconcerting when you look down and you're like, oh, I'm speeding a lot when you see a cop. Whether or not you're actually speeding is another story, but... You know, that's, that's what it is, so... I actually have no idea where I am right now. I'm just trying to follow the river. Because it's always nice, it's a little bit cooler, and you get a little bit of a breeze. 4 and 32, yeah, I think I want to go left here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a left. So, yeah, because I can see uh, one of the locks right in front of me. So, we're going to take a left. Where, where the hell is this? Really? All right, nope, I actually know right where I am right now. Not where I thought it was gonna be. So anyways, there's that. So, the bike, it, great bike, fantastic. I have zero complaints other than the seat. I can't complain about anything. I did a 700 mile trip, cost me less than 60 bucks in fuel, and I don't have to, but I do. I run premium in this, even though in the manual it says 87 is fine. I feel better about running premium. I'm trying to get some sound for you. It sounds good when it echoes off the buildings. Again, I don't know how well my bike's actually going to pick this up. This is uh, kind of experimental. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. I actually forgot my dead cat. I was going out planning on doing something else. And yeah. So, but speaking of something else, I am going to have some new different videos coming up in the future here. Made a couple phone calls today. Just waiting for responses back. It, it, it is a Sunday. I don't expect most people to answer their phones. At least not businesses. On Sundays when they're not open. It's like, yeah, 5 o'clock on a Sunday. I'm just, you know, feeling stuff out, kind of doing what I can. Trying to get some other stuff, new content for the channel. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see if anybody likes it and anybody wants to watch it. Uh, the last video I posted was a unboxing for a new case for my PC. People seemed really like the PC-ish videos. I know I do. I like watching PC stuff videos. Uh, I have to do another one because I did get everything swapped over from one case to another. I got it up and running. Actually looks amazing. It looks so good with the colors and, and, and the white case. So that I do have to do as well. And other than that, I've, I've, like I said, I've got some new stuff in the works. I'm trying out here, trying to get done. Holy dude on Harley actually waved. That doesn't happen very often around here. 
so working on getting some new content for everybody it's going to be moto vlogs i got one more pc video i'm going to be throwing up that's about it that's uh about all i have for now that i can do other than the moto vlogs so i'm actually going to be pulling off right up here i'll give you a quick look at the bike so you can see the exhaust it, it is a uh, yoshimura alpha it is the carbon actually not the one i wanted i did i didn't want it but it was the only one i could get that was in stock and i could get shipped fairly soon i wanted it before i went on my trip so that that was one of those either it's i can have something or i can have nothing i chose something rather than nothing so that's why i got it uh i was looking at the Akropovic. I think that's how you say it again. If, if, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry that everyone seems to say it a little bit differently. But the Akropovic, Povich, I, however you say it again, I, I don't know. I'm not 100%. But I got that for an exhaust. That's what I wanted. Ended up with the Yoshimura pipe. I've got no complaints. It looks good. It sounds good. Install was was easy, super easy, which seems to be the case for a lot of the exhaust. I, I pretty much any if, if you have a basic set of hand tools, anybody can do a slip on. Uh, this is just a slip on. It is not a full exhaust, not by any means. Wish it was. I've been looking at getting a full header for this. Whether or not I do is another story. Uh, where where am I going? It's up here a little bit. It, it's like a random spot on the right up here. There's not really a sign for it until like you get there, and it's kind of like oh sh shiza. But so that's where I'm looking. That's where I'm gonna go. Hopefully, it's gonna be a nice spot, and I, I might be able to get a, a, a couple nice picks for the bike. Because, I mean, hey, who doesn't like water? Yeah, okay. So, it's going to be right up here on the left, right, on the right. Right up here on the right. Yep, right here. So, I, I don't know if you can tell, but there wasn't really a good... Uh, I can't go all the way down there. And, of course, there's other people here. So, we're just going to park it here. So, I did do a detail on it yesterday. Went to a Cars and Coffee with it this morning. So, here you go. This is the bike. 2022 SV650. This is the ABS model. It's the matte black blue frame which I love. I wanted the blue frame. Uh, again, the, the GV windshield. This is the A31111, 3111, whatever you want to call it, which it may, it does make a difference. It does help. So I do like it. It was a good purchase. I got it on sale full price. I, I, I don't really know if it's worth it full price on sale. Yeah, absolutely worth it. Uh, the Yoshimura Alpha carbon exhaust, not what I wanted, what I could get, so it's what I got, uh, and it's it's, it's going to be this piece here, the muffler, and then this short little piece here. This is the factory uh, headers, if you want to call it. There is a catalytic converter down here as well, so it's just this piece, the clamp, you get the two springs, the muffler itself, and then the hanger for it. This is stock hardware for the hanger to bolt it onto the frame. It is, I don't know if you can see it, but it is kind of loose there. It looks loose, but it is actually tight. And we do have the Yoshimura fender eliminator on here as well with the stock turn signals. One thing I will recommend with that is do not use the stock nuts that come with it. I would actually recommend to use, I went to the store. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, I went to the store. Uh, those are actually nylock nuts. 
that I ended up having to buy to put on here because as you can see on this turn signal see it's it's rubbed right there what happened was the factory hardware actually the, the nut backed off because there are studs on the back of these so the nut backed off that fell and that was actually rubbing on my tire so I ended up having to drive like three miles with it rubbing I didn't have anything with me to hold it up at the time so three miles with it rubbing on my tire and pull out nylock nuts replace the factory ones with the nylocks and it's been great haven't had a problem I mean these are kind of soft and flappy to begin with but overall that's everything I have done to the bike if you're curious and thinking about getting one I would absolutely recommend it it's a fantastic bike I feel like it has plenty of power after doing a, a 700 mile trip with it there's absolutely enough power on the highway so you, you don't have to worry about oh well it's a 650 it only makes a, like 73 horse or wh whatever the factory is with it whatever it's rated from the factory about oh it's not going to have enough power for me I don't like it and with this it's not so much the power as it is the low range torque and on the plus side wrong one right now on this trip I just filled it up the other day and uh, kind of beat on it a little bit but 54.9 so 55 miles to the gallon range of 169 miles uh, it says it's a full tank it's not because again I, I have ridden it oh this son of a bitch grasshopper dude this thing is still here alright get, get wherever you're going Holmes because we going for a ride Twice. I have kicked that thing off my bike twice today. Once when I left, before I went to Cars and Coffee, and then when I got to car when I got to Cars and Coffee, it was still there. We'll give you a little sound check. Again, I don't know how well my mic's gonna pick it up, hopefully. Hopefully it picks it up sounds great with this Yoshi but anyway so this grasshopper and then I evicted it when I got the cars and coffee because I'm like son of a bitch it's still on there and yeah he doesn't want to leave apparently because on my way home he was back on my bike again I'm like what I don't know where he is don't know where he goes but anyways, so that's going to be it for today, everyone. You know, I ho hope you all have a fantastic day. If you're riding, keep it safe, pay attention, make sure you wear your gear. As you can see, I am. Got my high-vis jacket, my gloves, my boots, my shoes. Well, they're shoes. They're not boots. They're riding shoes. I do not have boots. I will admit that. And jeans and a decent full face helmet so again everyone keep it safe until the next one keep her two wheels down and see you in the next one